Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick video on version 4 and kind of where I'm at. I know it's been pretty quiet and has been in many updates, but this is a huge update. And as you can see, it looks all pretty much the same. Uh, some big changes, of course, are uh, like a simplified mode. Go back and forth on that where it just gets rid of a bunch of buttons. You have day and night mode, which works pretty good. I had to change most of the graphics in order to work in light and dark. You need that contrast in order to see it in black and white. And of course, you can change uh, the colors to be any color you want. And it stores and remembers, and it remembers whether you come up in day mode or night mode, that sort of thing. Um, full screen. This takes it right out to the max of the display. There's no more a title top or there's no taskbar at the bottom, that sort of thing. It uses the full entire part of the screen. The uh, tool setup, you can have, choose your different tools. There's none of this picking ahead or behind or that sort of thing. And then you can set your distances. And then this picture is sensitive to what you set in the configuration. Uh, settings, that sort of thing. Turn on, turn off, overlap, and that still all the same. Sections. Now you can set your section width to be whatever you want. Six. And then when you set your sections, it defaults them all, and you can still go in and change, change whatever you want. And switches, that's still the same. And on the tractor, you choose whether it's four wheel drive, just a normal tractor or a combine. Antenna screen's much the same, distance to the antenna, that sort of thing. And as this changes, it changes accordingly to what you choose. The vehicle turn radius and the hydraulic lift works with the headland stuff. Show that in a sec. And the guidance, there's only one snap distance now. And the rest of that's the same. Don't want to cancel that. Okay, so turn you turn on, turn the headland off and on. You can see that the thing is green. That's part of the hydraulic lift. It knows when you cross the line. Rip, all goes out and turns red. So when it's red, now it lifts the implement. And then we looked at that earlier. We looked at that hydraulic lift look ahead. I can't remember it was set for four or something. And then any part of the tool approaches the line. One, two, three, four. Then that lifts the implement. And then, of course, it turns on and off the sections based on the uh, headland line. So that all works pretty good. The buttons are auto sizing now. Just come out of full screen. So they, it doesn't matter whether you have 16 or whether you have 5, it'll auto adjust and, and still fit on the screen. None of the two line stuff. So when it gets small, of course, they're pretty small buttons, but they're still buttons. More of a visual thing. I mean, who's going to control 16 buttons? So that all works pretty good. The simplify mode just hides a bunch of the buttons that are redundant and that sort of thing. It moves the open GL well over this, the less used buttons, that sort of thing. So it just exposes your AB lines and your con basic controls. Cycle through the lines. You can choose your different lines, that sort of thing. That's all still available. And down here, you still have access to all the settings, even though now it's just one button. It just simplifies the screen. So yeah, there you go. It works pretty good. So anyway, just a little teaser, what I'm working on. I haven't been sitting around, but uh, this will be pretty good when it gets released. So any thoughts, comments, that'd be great. Thank you.